let's engineer your first leaf cutter bee house. We have solicited the help of students studying engineering and the Society of Women Engineers Club at CGCC to develop some resources that you can use to create or build your own leaf cutter bee house. Some of the resources that you will find on this page are work instructions, which provide step by step procedures on how to build a leaf cutter bee house, examples of 3D models designed by engineering students utilizing SOLIDWORKS, a 3D modeling program that enables students to 3D print their designs. Finally, we have a video demonstration by the Society of Women Engineers president on how she created her first leaf cutter bee house. So what are you waiting for? Learn, build, test, repeat your own leaf cutter bee house. Hey guys, my name is Diana Lamb. I am a member of SWE at Chandler Gilbert Community College. And today we will be using the engineering design process to create leaf cutter beehives. We're gonna need um, for the specific design is a couple materials. We're gonna need some bamboo sticks, a couple cans of Pringles emptied out. We're gonna need some rope, scissors, and I have my hot glue gun right here, ready to go. So the first step in the engineering design process is to learn. We're gonna learn all about the leaf cutter bee homes and what they like. So in my research, I found out that they liked bamboo sticks, that they like to nest in long tubes, and um, they like them to be sticking out a little bit than the, than the but we're gonna hold the tubes in. So that's why we're gonna cut all the Pringle cans to about five and a half to five quarters inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. All right, so step two in the engineering design process is to build and to make. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And we're gonna start building this beehive. So what I had in mind was to make a flower out of the Pringle cans. So I'm gonna get my super glue gun once I've cut all of them down. I don't know if you can see, they're all cut. Um, and I'm gonna place them in the shape of a flower. So let's do that.
All right, so I went ahead and glued everything, but the glue isn't really holding the best as I want it to because we want to make sure that when we test this, that we can be able to hang it from a tree and it'll, you know, survive the weathers. So I'm just going to use the rope that we have and I'm going to tie them all together just for extra security. So once I have the rope tied around the tubes, I'm going to start filling the tubes with the bamboo sticks. As you can tell, they're hollow on the inside, perfect for the leaf cutter bees. Okay, so once I have all the bamboo sticks in there, it should look a little something like this. They're all nice and tightly packed in here, ready to be hung up. So that's what I'm going to do next. Is I'm gonna cut some more rope so we can hang this guy up from, I'm thinking a tree. Let's do a tree. All right, now the final step of the engineering design process is to test. So now we're gonna test our design to see if it can survive and withstand the outdoors and if leaf cutter bees actually like it and wanna live here. You can always decorate your little design. Um, you can paint the cans, you can paint this lid over here and make it look more realistic and more like a flower. Alrighty guys, well that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, I just wanna show you guys what it looks like all hung up. I could've done a better job gluing it, but not bad for my first try.